And a good Wednesday afternoon to you, Roger Hill of Weathering Heights. This weather video is driven by 802cars.com, representing 802 Toyota, Twin City Subaru, and 802 Honda. They're all located off of Exit 7 on Interstate 89, looking at the Mad River Valley. We have a fairly potent weather system that's going to work through during the last half of this afternoon into the early evening hours. This is a uh, not very well seen here, but there's some very, very cold air aloft that's uh, located off to the north and west that's going to be swinging in. It's already activating a lot of moisture that is uh, combined and pulled out ahead of it, as well as coming off the Great Lakes. And these are snow squalls now moving through parts of the Champlain Valley. They're intense little beasts. They're fairly short-lived, and sometimes behind them you can even get a little bit of sunshine before the next one kind of rolls through. I think this is going to be the case off and on across mainly uh, the northern two-thirds of Vermont, uh, probably Rutland and points north. There could even be a couple squalls that go down across the Mohawk Valley and so forth and uh, into southern parts of Vermont. Needless to say... Uh, temperatures right now are holding their own at basically 25 to uh, almost 30 degrees, a few 30 degree readings in the Connecticut River Valley. That's going by the wayside is what we're going to see is uh, temperatures a lot colder and you can see temperatures around 5 above, 7 above, 14 and so forth. This is single digit temp temperature here and this is below zero so it gives you an idea just how cold it is up to the north and west of us. Storm Prediction Center, uh, using uh, their mesoscale analysis, uh, we're looking at the 300 millibar levels. Uh, let's get it down to 500. That slice at uh, 500 hectopascals of roughly about 18,000 feet or so. This is minus 43 degrees Celsius. This is a real cold batch of air that's headed into Vermont. This is activating and making things very unstable as it pushes in aloft over relatively warmer air. That air not especially cold, but it makes for instability. And that's when you get snow squalls, and sometimes you can even activate uh, a localized, uh, very brief thunderstorm. Uh, looking at the uh, next uh, slice we have here, you can see this is the uh, 700 millibar, about 10,000 feet, uh, 700 hectopascals, and you got uh, this uh, strong trough swinging on through. And then taking it down a little bit, uh, the next level here, this is minus 26 degrees Celsius. This is 850 uh, millibars. Probably can see that a little better here without that and uh, you see the the gradient here this is a uh, very very cold air pushing into relatively warmer air out ahead of it and that combination is activating snow squalls taking it down to the next uh, slice here of the atmosphere this is 925 this is about 2500 feet or so and uh, you can see that gradient so that's what's pushing in and it's activating snow squalls of course and that's going to be the case let's take a look at the model this is one hour snowfall. This would be 19Z. That is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And so we just passed that and we're headed for 3 o'clock and these are our snow squalls starting to show up here. You can see that uh, fairly intense amounts of snow uh, localized in nature, not very wide uh, spread, but you can see how that develops moving through parts of Washington uh, and uh, Orange County north into Lamoille County, the Northeast Kingdom. It's mainly the northern two-thirds of Vermont affected by these squalls today. And you can see that they move on out uh, gradually here, but kind of hang around the Northeast Kingdom a little bit longer. This is 22Z, or about, uh, that would be 5 o'clock this evening. This is 6, 7 o'clock, and then finally 8 o'clock. They're pretty much out of here. But uh, we're not going to be completely done with flurries. As you can see, there's still a little bit of snow shower and flurry activity that will linger into tonight. And we're looking at uh, 10 to 1 uh, snowfall for the whole thing using the HRRR model. And uh, this is valid about 10 o'clock tonight, and by that point it's pretty much east of our region. S most snowfall accrued will be across the northern tier regions and the local mountains and so forth, but just about anywhere here you can see a pretty hefty snow squall, very intense, short live though. And then uh, we'll use uh, Kuchera very quickly. I think that's probably a little bit more accurate. This is uh, 2, 3Z, that'd be 10 o'clock. You can see that some of these uh, snowfalls, because of the fluff factor, will really stand up. Roger Hill, Weathering Heights, thanks for watching.